Hello everybody and welcome to my first aid under danger channel. My name is Nick Schenkerveld and today I'm going to do something completely different that I normally haven't done. I haven't done it before but I'm going to do it anyway because uh, it's, I'm going to give a reply to one of my favorite YouTube channels at this time. It's called Shediversity. Link in the description. I love, love, love his channel. Um, today I want to talk about the... Um, the video that Shad made about skeletons and which weapons a fantasy skeleton would use in, um, in combat. In this video Shad talks about some key elements and some key features about the bone density of skeletons and thus uh, which weapons they might prefer. Shed, I absolutely love your channel and I want to thank you personally for answering my question during your live YouTube uh, session. I was the silly Dutch guy asking about uh, what medieval, in medieval times, what the medical aid was like. So thank you very much for answering that question. I know my English writing sucks. I'm a complete dyslectic, so I love talking, but I do not like writing stuff down so that is why I'm not writing you a comment but I'm giving you one live at this moment um, actually I also loved your uh, replica of the action made so that's why I'm just holding my ex to, to show how much I love you talking about axes but uh, let's get back to the topic the topic is about bone density and skeletons um, to make it easy I'm gonna I'm not going to I'm not going to talk about too many facts and too many strange uh, features about bone and we're gonna keep it easy. There are two main parts in a bone. Uh, the first is just bone and the second one is cartilage. And cartilage in babies, there's a lot of cartilage which means uh, that the bone in babies is very hard to break. It's because of a glue-like substance that is within the cartilage which makes it more flexible. But if we grow older, uh, the bone will lose more and more of the glue-like substance and also lose more cartilage, which means that we're just going to leave uh, what we left is left with is bone, just bone. Bone tends to break quicker. It's hard, thus not as flexible as cartilage, which means that if we get older and older, the bone will be more brittle and will break more easily. If we look at the numbers, about when we're 30 years old, from that time, we'll see that uh, we'll lose more and more cartilage and also lose more and more like the glue-like substance, which means that the bones will tend to break easier. Um, in relation to the skeletons, you must take this into notice in which weapons they would prefer. Because in, you also talk about uh, skeletons being able to withstand the blow, you know, with the shield and just trying to, to uh, hold the shield up and making sure that the enemy is, uh, will get tired. But there probably will be a big problem if a skeleton's bone is brittle, which it is, and he will try to defend an incoming blow, that could mean that his arm will just crumble into dust. So I think that uh, skeletons will try to avoid uh, big impact blows like that because they might just lose the entire arm. Um, there's something else that we need to take into notice and those are the conditions after um, the body dies. If the conditions are right, if the conditions are right, a bone could turn into a in a rock. It could go uh, like a fossil. Fossils are rock hard and they could withstand the big blow, but that it will only work if the conditions are right. If they are not right, the cartilage within the bone is the first to decay, which means that you're only left with the hard substance, the bone and the chalk within, which means that if it will have a big blow, bam, it will mean that probably the bone will just shatter and break or even might just crumble into dust. So I think skeletons will try to avoid those big impacts because they will not be able to withstand them. Um, but if oxygen 
is not able to brittle down the bone and it will get as rock, uh, rock solid. Rock solid, is that right? Yeah, rock solid. Then it will be able to withstand a lot, a lot of blows. So then uh, to fight skeletons, and I know that wasn't a topic, but then if you fight skeletons, you need uh, a blunt weapon just to try to crumble them. Uh, but I do not think that um, skeletons will be, um, will be able to withstand big blows because of the cartilage that will leave their body and you end up only with bone. So, I hope that this video will help you out a little bit. Um, I normally do not do these topics, but um, you ask for it. You ask if somebody has a different opinion about it, I should share it. That's why I wanted to share it, because I think I, your channel is just great, and I love watching it, and I hope in, in this way, I can help you out a little bit more. So if you have any questions about, um, bone or other things concerning the human body which you need to take into a notice just ask and I'll do my absolute best to respond to you thank you so much for watching this video not just you chat but everybody that loves this channel please go check it out if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel yet this is the absolute moment to describe yourself to my channel as well for now I want to thank you for everything and the last thing that I wanted to say is uh, what about dragons?